Aldis podcast is brought to you by Aldis International, supplying your expert AI and digital transformation staffing needs across the US and Europe. Today, you are listening to our AI in Action series, where leading minds in AI from across the world share their story, success, and advice. AI in Action cuts through the hype and explores the true impact of artificial intelligence in our world today. You're listening to AI in Action. I'm your host, JP Valentine. Our guest today is Brett Di Natale. Brett is the Senior Vice President and Head of Commercial Analytics Solutions at Precision Extract. Brett, welcome to the show. Thanks, JP. Nice to be here. Brett, let's start with a bit of background of yourself. Can you give us a bit of an overview of your journey in technology from where you got started to what's led you to where you're at today? Absolutely. I actually have a very varied background. So I've been working in the pharmaceutical and biotech industry since 2000. I actually have a heavy science background, a degree in biochemistry, a PhD in molecular medicine, but I've always worked on the vendor side in analytics. And I've done work in global forecasting, quant market research, syndicated market research. And for the past 10 or 12 years or so, I've actually been doing a very heavy analytic consulting background. And so the growth and bringing all of that together, I've actually really enjoyed seeing the evolution of computing horsepower, IT and infrastructure, and the ways that we can approach analytic problems and developing new ways to answer commercial business questions. So that kind of brought me to where I am today. Thank you for that, Brett. Appreciate the background. And obviously, we'll talk about what you do currently in a moment. But let's start with Precision Extract. Tell us all about the business, who you are, what you do, what led you to join Precision, and then we could jump into your role and what you're doing day to day. Precision Extract is part of the broader Precision Medicine Group company. And so Precision Medicine Group is really a number of organizations tied together. And so we work hand in hand but it's made to span the entire life cycle of a pharmaceutical company's product. So we work in bioinformatics in that very early stage research. We have a clinical trial organization, a CRO. We have payer marketing agencies, patient agencies, et cetera. A number of different places where we can help our clients bring their products to market in the hands of patients, et cetera. Precision Extract is within that organization where a lot of the data and analytics happens for commercial products. So for a pharmaceutical product, we have a group that does heavy data management and mastery. And so in pharma, we're really awash in reams of data like most industries, but being able to bring uh, patient medical records, HCP behavioral data, insurance data, how insurance companies are covering products, bringing all that together and actually making it talk to each other is a whole expertise unto itself and we have a group that does that we have a group that works in commercial engagement so actually at the point where the physician is deciding whether to use a product delivering messages and delivering information so the the physician knows whether you know a product is right for a patient they can receive messages in their ehr as to whether that patient is applicable for a certain treatment and my group does commercial analytics which is very heavily on helping the pharma companies themselves understand what is patient behavior like and in a certain disease area and what types of products do they use? How long do they use them? What happens when they don't? Risk factors for patients dropping off of medication, which doctors are most likely to use our products, et cetera. So again, Precision Medicine Group as an entity touches all different areas of the pharmaceutical industry extract is really in that data and analytics space helping pharma companies wade through all of the data available to solve their commercial problems thank you for that brett so focusing now on on your role you're the senior vp and head of commercial analytics solutions what does that mean day to day what does your team look like and what's a typical project that you're working on so the team is a hybrid of uh, solution architects data scientists We work with analytic consultants as well to interact with clients. What the typical project looks like can actually vary very significantly. So depending on where our client's need is in a very early stage from a commercial perspective, 
if a product is in phase two trials or something, we may just be under, helping them understand what is the overview of the market that you're going into. So it could be more baseline understanding of the types of patients that exist, what drugs they may use first, and how many progress because it doesn't cure their symptoms or, or help their disease. We may be talking about the types of doctors that exist and whether people are getting treated by their family practitioner or their gastroenterologist. As we go further on, we go through these phases from those overviews as the clients get closer and closer to launch, we get into the more data and analytics heavy projects. So that's where we'll be having more application of AI and advanced methodologies to do things like say, I'm going to analyze every doctor in America, and I'm going to understand exactly how likely they are to use this product when it comes on the market and how many patients they're going to use it for so that I know who my pharma client needs to go talk to and when. Brett, given the complexity that we deal with within healthcare data, there's a lot that could be derived from it. There's a lot of different analytical solutions available to us. Can you give us an example of a customer who are currently using the platform as a product and what they're doing to impact, whether it's drug discovery, whether it's a clinical trial or end patient treatment? Is there anything that stands out to you as being a good example of how Precision Extract has helped them improve what they're doing? So... Uh, if we move off of the physician targeting aspect of it, uh, another project that we've done and that we have put together a whole system around is actually understanding patient behavior in the future. And most companies, when they will get patient behavior, and the typical analysis would be to say this patient's likely to use, um, you know, be adherent to their medicine 50% of the time. And so for every year, they would say, oh, they're going to take it six months out of 12. But we have actually put together a much deeper modeling system whereby we predict every patient based on their characteristics, based on their history, what their steps are over time in the future and how likely they are to use it every month, every week. And so what it actually ends up doing is it predicts the likelihood that a patient is going to be in any state at any point in the future, like Schrodinger's cat. And what that allows us to do, and it helps our clients do, is it allows them to understand when patients are starting to have problems or may be at risk of discontinuing their medicine, because there are a lot of indications where that can be very problematic, things like schizophrenia, where missing doses have, can have catastrophic consequences. So by doing this and not just saying they're going to get it six months out of the year, but we don't know which six months, our system actually allows us to say this person has is going to have decreased likelihood over time and they're hitting a red zone in month four. If we make this action in month two, we can actually keep them on medicine and we can alleviate those problems. So we're really helping our clients understand in a very, very targeted way over time how to keep patients on medicine and keep their treatment progressing. You are listening to the Aldis Podcast. When you're looking to scale your team or if you are interested in showcasing your company in a future episode, reach out today. Or if you're in the market for a new role, visit our website to view open positions, www.aldis.com. Brett, I want to switch direction slightly to, to focus on your team that you work with day to day. You've obviously been with Precision Extract for over four years now, and your role has evolved and grown over time, as has the teams. Can you give us some insight into what the current makeup of the team is? How many people, how many various roles they play? And, you know, what's the culture like uh, for your group when it's working on a project? It's actually interesting that the team stays relatively small because we do intersect with other teams and work with them. So where we have three solution architects, we have two data scientists and myself, and we have multiple teams of analytic consultants. What we do is matrix in with a number of different teams and companies to bring these things to, to light. So a lot of the platforms that we'll put together are an engagement to build the initial algorithms to bring things like that together. And then it 
pushes into a product development team, and then it can push into the actual client interaction teams to bring them to clients, to bring people on board, to manage the interactions. So it is a very matrix organization in that way. Brett, given you've spent the last four years at Precision Extract, you're obviously enjoying your time there, and it's quite a, a complex organization given the multitude of, of use cases for your your platform, which is essentially a product. When you look at the evolution of AI within pharma and biotech and, and how it's increased use is leading to new, new ideas, new use cases, from where you sit at Precision Extract, what are you most excited about for the next year to two years as, as a business and then for your group specifically? I think the application of two new problems is what I always find interesting. And so there's no shortage of issues where the sheer volume of data available becomes overwhelming. And pharma is, for being as cutting edge as a lot, they are a lot of the time, there are a lot of places in the commercialization aspect where they still go on gut feel or what's happened in the past. I'm going to look for similar products that have launched in the past and whatever happened there is happening to me. But we all know that things are changing much more rapidly. So staying on how things are changing, there are almost every day changes in how insurance companies are managing products and uh, dealing with access to products. That's really one of the sort of day-to-day aspects of it and where it's fun because it's never stagnant. But I think one of the interesting places where we're going to be going in the future is more on that patient-centric aspect, as well as looking at new decision-making tools in terms of what tactics make the most sense. And so not just saying this is where patient behavior is going to drive you or this is where physician behavior is going to drive them, but actually integrating some of those actions that pharma can take and look at what the next best action could be and where really helping to change decision to support from doing a bunch of scenario testing to actually a priori optimizing what their ask, what their decisions could be. That's sort of the next frontier. And that's actually where a not insignificant number of people are looking as well. So we'll see who races there first. Yeah, it's exciting for sure. Final question for me then, Brett, you guys and your group specifically has remained relatively small. It's more of a strike force team, which I know you've referred to it previously. When you are looking to grow, what sort of people do you look for, um, whether it be previous experience, culture, or, or mission? And when you've heard in the past, what is it that you say to candidates to get them excited about this line of work? I think it's a good question. That's one of the things that makes it different. And it's part of the reason why the team stays relatively small and has over time. We really look for people that are multi-sport athletes. No one on my team, even people that I can I label data scientist or solution architect, they're not really one skill people. You know, I mentioned I've worked in a lot of companies. I worked in a lot of startups and I've always wanted the team to be something, act something like a startup where there are no shortage of questions and we need to be coming up with creative solutions. So people that have some background in the healthcare space and the type of data we're talking about and some of the language is always helpful because it is sort of a field unto itself. But it's really, it's the intersection of data science and consulting. It's problem solving. It's not just one trick ponies. People that work on my team, people that work in precision to a large extent in general, we are always seeing new things and we have to take the skills that we have but also be good at recognizing the gaps and how we can come to a solution and putting the pieces together. So multidisciplinary problem solvers is my concise answer. Great way to finish the interview. Brett, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate you coming on today, talking to us. Great to learn about your own background, the very nature of it, and great to learn about Precision Extract, part of the broader organization, but doing some really cool stuff with the use of data and analytics and, and tackling some really meaningful problems out there. So we wish you, the team, and everyone there the best of luck in the years ahead. Can't wait to see what you guys are able to accomplish. Yeah, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thanks for listening to this episode of the Aldis Podcast. If you enjoyed today's episode, don't forget to subscribe, rate, and review. 
We are available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and any Android podcast of choice. You can also head over to our website, www.allthis.com, to listen to more podcasts, view our open roles, and stay up to date with industry news. Thanks for listening and stay tuned for more great episodes coming very soon.